Hi guys, and welcome back to Freeze Drying Mama. I am here today and we're gonna be talking about how to line your trays, if you wanna line your trays, why you would line your trays, that kind of thing. Okay, so what we're doing is we're talking about, first of all, these are my absolute favorite. I got these for my birthday for my mother-in-law. They're the Harvest Right silicone tray mats. I'm working with the medium freeze dryer size trays. These are stainless steel, these suckers go in the, um, the dishwasher, they go in the freezer, they can go in the oven. You can literally do whatever you want to these. Um, it doesn't matter if you use a metal like utensil in them. Um, it doesn't matter because they're stainless steel. They're awesome. They don't rust. They're really cool. I highly recommend having at least one, one set of backups because you will be rotating when you're doing this, but these are super fun. Um, okay, so if you're not going to um, line it, first we'll talk about the liner. So the silicone liner, they have specific ones for specific sizes. So this one fits the medium. The set is worth it. I love the price. I mean, the price is a little high. It's $89, at least when we got these. Um, and so, but they're really nice. They're high quality. They can go in the top rack of the dishwasher and they help so things don't stick. However, I didn't have it from the beginning, right? I didn't have that at the beginning. I, I mean, the freeze dryer is an expensive purchase. So I was like, I'm not getting that. What else can I do? So before I used the silicone tray mats, I did parchment paper. Now these come in these size strips. Hush! These come in this size of strips from um, the Cash and Carry or Your M that's down in town by us. Um, but you can also get them in rolls, you can get them in, you know, whatever. But these fit really nice on the tray. So this is how I do them. And I'm just going to cut one because I'm actually not going to be using the liner today. But I would, I am not a measurer. I don't like things to be perfect because I'm a mom and I don't have time for that. So what I would do is literally tuck the edge in, not care if it's perfect, and I would just cut like this. I know, I swear, I'm surprised that they let me out of kindergarten with my cutting skills. I'm not a straight line, I don't care. Because I literally don't care. This is to put food on and to go in the freeze dryer. Uh, you do you if you're the type of person that measures out perfectly, has the perfect lines, again, you do you. That's not how I work. <laughs> so, um, so you can line them like this. Um, wax paper I found does not work very well. It seems to get kind of crispy and the food that I had was kind of sticking to the wax. So I would do just the non-waxed parchment paper or you could do, like I said, the silicone or nothing. Just leave it as is. And the reason I would leave it as is would be like for liquids, um, something that might get underneath your liner because while it's silicone and it seals really well, you still can get things under there which you don't want. Like raw egg, you kind of want to get as much as you can into your packages and you don't want to leave any underneath the, the liner. Okay, so that's how I would line that and that's why I would do it. So I would put things like um, corn, raspberries, berries, meat, anything you possibly, that you don't care if it, um, it, it's not gonna fall out around. Like stew, I would not do it with a liner. I would do that just in this and strictly in the trays. Um, like, like, six, like I said, ice cream, berries, uh, sour cream I do without the liner. Uh, you'll see me when I do my videos and stuff, you'll see what I do. Some things that you would use a liner for, sometimes I still don't use a liner for it. So it's really just up to you. That's just some tips and then that's what I would do. So there's three different ways that you can use your trays and you don't have to line them. I'm actually in between loads right now. I'm getting ready to load some up so I have these available. So I will put these up, the tips, more tips up on our freeze drying site. Go to freezedryingmama.com. You can also get into the printable vault and find some great ways to organize your rotation and your foods. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks, you guys.